She gon' save me a plate. I told you 30 below to 100 degrees. And you ain't pushing hard enough if your hands don't bleed. I'm the first to clock in and the last to leave. And I ain't never had a problem rolling up my sleeves. this morning, time I boots up. Cause I knew it was gonna be a long day. Tie my truck up, grab my coffee, and kiss my baby. Got on my way. Cause I'm working till it's hurting. And that's the only way to make it out of stage pay. door and I'm trying to think why can I get it to line up up there when it lines up down through here this is a brand new piece and the door gap is good but up there where the original part of the cab jacked out of shape so I'm thinking I'm sitting here can't figure this out and uh, that uh, I'm, I'm an idiot this old B pillar section was damaged real bad in an accident or something so obviously the new piece in here lines up but who's to say this door wasn't damaged and then I got to look and I don't know if you can see it on camera the whole top of the door is bowed right there. Bowed and twisted. Twisted outward. It's bowed this way and twisted outward. So, I've got to hang my other door on here to get a good accurate feel for if this. I'm pretty sure because this, this turned out okay. I don't know why that's damaged up there, but yet this was damaged back here. Hey, uh, yeah. what do I know? But still got some more welding to do. I'm not going to weld too much of this down here because I'm cutting this off. But I am going to finish spot welding in there. Hang on, I'll be right back with you. I'm going to turn this light back on. Anywho, that's good. Let's 
see that gap down there? It's because of how jacked up this panel was. So I haven't spot welded these yet. Because I want to work on this a little bit. I may put some heat to that. I may, I may cut that look freed up right there. I may cut that right down that seam and get this get this pulled out and get this spot welded in. But if you look down, this is jacked up. When I mean jacked up, I don't mean like jacked up, I mean like it's twisted. And then but it is actually bowed up right here. So it's bowed up and twisted. So I can't hang that other, that other door I buried in the back of the garage, which I cannot get to without some help because I got all kinds of engines and stuff in the way. Transmissions, all kinds of stuff back here, all these spare parts for this thing. I picked up a uh, big block flywheel clutch assembly for this today. I have a hydraulic setup already, but I didn't have a flywheel. So now I can go either direction I want to go with. Four speed, automatic, whatever. It's all good. So anyways, this is pretty much done. Good enough. And that's straight. It's sunk down a little bit right here from the heat. Because it kept blowing holes. This metal's thin. But anyways, and I, uh, over there is a 4x4 18 gauge sheet metal right there it cost a hundred dollars Jesus Christ what an expensive hobby I have So anywho This door frame is bent I'm not even gonna trust it I'm gonna if I can't dig the other door out with some help I'm just gonna take all the measurements over there and chew it up and run some reinforcements in here and weld them in. And then I'm gonna I gotta rebuild all this down here. It's kind of why I needed that 18 gauge sheet metal. And then this bad piece right here is this reinforcement pieces I bought. So that's gonna go in there. I work so many, so, so few hours, so many. <laughs> like right now, I can hardly walk because my all my joints are swelled up real bad. I can't hardly bend my legs. So I'm done for the day anyway. But it is in. I believe it is correct. Uh, I know I said I finished welding in this video, but. I've got a few things I want to do. I just ran out of ran out of gas. I, uh, I, my pootered, I'm pootered out. So I will uh, see what I got to do here next. Okay. So you just heard my little what I think uh, and. Uh, Right or wrong, I think I'm right. I know the top of this door frame's messed up for sure. I never noticed it before, but it definitely is. But it's, you know, because of the rusted out part of it anyway, it's why I got another door. So I will get that uh, hung, and then the next video, I will finish welding the B pillar at the bottom, and I'm going to start building back up the A pillar at the bottom and then if I can't get the door out like I said just a minute ago I'm gonna take as many measurements as possible on the other side and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna weld reinforcements in then I'm gonna cut this bad floor out right here and this brocker out and uh, that uh, will probably be Two videos from now. Next video. 
Gotta shut the bottom of the B pillars and start rebuilding the A pillar bottom. So guys, this is James. Empty pockets. I say empty pockets. You, you would not believe how many times I say I have empty pockets in my real life. Not, not just because of my YouTube channel. Uh, people constantly, like you get sales calls or whatever, I always tell them, say, buddy, you're, you're barking up the wrong tree. I, I'm retired. I'm on a budget. I, I, I live with empty pockets. I don't, I don't have any extra money, so you're, you're wasting your time. So, <laughs> uh, what did I say a long time ago when I first started this? It's not just a saying. It's a, it's a lifestyle for me. That's why I do a lot of bartering. But I can only do so much. I wish I was physically able to work like oh man I tell you I'm rambling on now but if I just had the ability and the energy like Dan DD Speed Shop I mean oh, he's a machine good lord you know and look look how many hours Don Don's hot rod works and you know I used to be that same way I I worked 65 hours a week and I were, I've been in the trucking industry my entire life, not a truck driver. I've always worked on them and I've ran shops. And I've, I've changed probably, I'm going to say easily, uh, mounted and dismounted 10,000 truck tires in my lifetime by hand. And uh, that's what's tore my body up. So people... If you get an office job, get an office job. Or even like truck driving is not horrible, but it's not healthy either. You know, driving a truck's not a healthy uh, career, but it does pay good money. So, you know, really, I didn't mean for this to uh, turn into a uh, uh, recruitment, em employment recruitment of whatnot or, <laughs> or what uh, careers to... Uh, to go down because you know <laughs> before I sign off on this I was going to uh, I live in Ohio so it's not that far of a drive for me um, I'm wanting to go to the Tri-5 Nationals this year and I I heard uh, Danny uh, Dan uh, did his speech up say something about that he would like to try to go I didn't know if he was talking this year or not uh, but it would be cool if a bunch of the YouTubers could uh, have like a YouTube party, a bash down at the Tri-5 Nationals uh, this year. It would be pretty cool. Anyway, just a thought, you know, uh, talk amongst yourselves. See what you think about the idea. Uh, if you think I'm full of shit, just say I'm full of shit. You don't want to hear about it. You don't feel like going. It's not a place where you want to be, which I know that's a lie because it's Tri-5 Nationals. Now, come on. Let's, come on. Let's, let's, let's be real. Anyways, even the Power Tour would be cool, but I couldn't. I, I can't drive behind the wheel that many hours. I, I'd, I'd be miserable half the trip. <laughs> it wouldn't be able to move very well. Uh, but the Tri-5 Nationals, because I, I have a medical scooter, so it wouldn't be that bad for me to cruise around down there. I wish I had like one of those little scooters that looked like a 57 Chevy, but eh, you know, that's an idea. I may work on that. I just need to find me some 57 Chevy parts that I can trim down to fit on the ass end of my scooter. Anybody got any rusted out quarters that the tops are still good? Get a hold of me. Until next time, this is James, Empty Pockets Garage. I'm out of here. I woke up this morning, time I boost up.